Help this woman, God, or let me understand how I can help her, how I can be your tool. All these people here are so lost in the eye of the world, but not to you. In your eyes, every one of them is just as worthy as the President of the United States. Come back, I promise you. So, so that's where she was when she went down there. I think that they found it. This is where she went. Hey, they can't stay in one place too long. They've got to, they've got to keep moving. Well, where would they go? Wherever they can. Oh, I can't go any further. <sighs> she really needed help. Glad I could keep looking. But we won't find her. <sighs> the truth of it is, she's one of thousands. We can help more people in the mission than out here. Hmm. I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things yet to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. I want you all to listen to this again. Neither death, nor life, nor rulers, nor powers, will separate you and me from the love of God. You are love. When you are sleeping out there on the streets, you are love. When you're collecting cans for a nickel each, you are love. When you take your yoke upon yourself, you are love. And that man who died, who was killed on our doorsteps last night, we don't know much about him. We don't know if he believed in God or not. And if he did, did he call him Abba, Father, Allah? We don't know. But what we do know is that he too was love. Because God knew every day of his life, knew every thought he ever thought. And you are loved because you are like Christ. You are God's children. Your lives have value. God is in every one of you. Amen. 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 Yes. Come on. So listen to me. You can't go asking me a lot of questions because I'm part of this investigation concerning the man's death and, and his activities prior to the assassination. But I'm not, I'm not at liberty to discuss any of the details. Assassination? The, the 
If you have any information that could help, you'd be well advised to hand it over. So is that why you were here last night? I'll tell you what. When you're ready to cooperate, why don't you give me another call? No, wait a minute, Uncle Paul, please. That's another thing. You seem fine. I know people. I can size them up, you know. And, and you seem basically okay with me. But let's skip the uncle part, okay? Because uh, not only is it a breach of security, but also it just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know why. Okay. So are you working with the police? No. Well, he told me his name. Hassan. Okay, okay. So, meet me outside in the front, in the blue van. Okay. Location secured. Sorry, I'm late. It's been, it's been a horrible night. It's okay. <laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> so do you. Listen, I only have four minutes on this line, so first of all, I miss you like crazy. And second of all, I have some really bad news. What? Remember James, who made the Taliban documentary? James Miller? Mm -hmm. I'm under the veil? Right. They killed him last night. Who did? I guess he was filming the bulldozers in Rafa and the IDF shot him. They were in an armored vehicle and he was waving a press flag, had his jacket on. They just shot him. No warning or anything. Why did they do that? Does Belinda know? She's the one who told me. She's in pretty bad shape. I don't know what to say. <sighs> yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah, me either. Oh, damn it. I'm losing this stream. If we get cut off, I'll email you in an hour. Okay. Are things okay on your end? You said you had a horrible night? <sighs> Yeah, I did. It's 
Tell me more about your family. Uh, our father was a chemical engineer. So he worked in the factories. We all did. But then they started having troubles and... See, we were only on work permits, so they let us all go. Eleven years he worked there. And how long has your father been gone? Oh, my God. About uh, three years now. He went to God and our mother soon after followed his path. And, and now her son. I'm really sorry. I know you are. Hassan used to send me money. He had a good job. He found work in Los Angeles. He found a wife. But he always drank. He was a famous drinker. He lost everything and he started living on the streets and... He said that's where he wanted to be. <laughs> Tomorrow you will be with Hassan. Together. Paranoid that would look suspicious. Check for a probable one man submarine later. This is a private law. Middle Eastern man, approximately 5 foot 11, 30, 35 years old. Dark hair, very bearded, no turban. Are you from some agency or something? Have. Now the suspect has come out. Same description, but older. No beard. Probably the ringleader here. Coaching suspects. Hey. I ask you if I can help you or something. Maybe. Maybe. You are standing on private property. Yeah, yeah, that's the part that worries me. You know something? You better tell me what kind of new business in and what are you doing here. Privacy. It's a very important thing in this country. The right to privacy. The right to do whatever you want in this country by yourself in private. We have all the licenses and the permits and the permits. Hey, what do you say? He said, we have the permit, the license, everybody get paid. Uh-huh, what else? i tell you what he said, but you wouldn't like to know what he said to oh, you. Oh, no? Do you have an ID? I'd like to see some ID. Now look who's speaking English. I'd like to see some ID myself. Maybe throw in a falafel. Hey, why don't you just show me your back and get out of here? Why don't I what? You heard him. You don't fuck with us. You heard you fucking with the wrong guy, motherfucker. Don't fuck with us. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, my friends. I'm going to check things out. I'm going to look at every file. I'm going to pull every record. Microfilm transparencies. And let us just say if there is one decimal point out of place, there's going to be some problems. Some real problems. Who's the muck to you, too? And why don't you try answering your phone sometime? Smoke those folks right out of their caves. Green, oily water. <laughs> 